Well, icy conditions get a big truck trailer split in half and shuts down I-80 in Cheyenne. More slippery mishaps with a flipped over camper, another stuck truck, uh, rusty and load updates and more on this episode of The Clutch Trucker Channel. Clutch Trucker filmed before a live and fuzzy studio audience. Yep, that's Rusty, the world famous meatball dog. Hey YouTube, Clutch Trucker here. Thanks for tuning in to another edition of the Clutch Trucker Channel. All right, uh, I'm parked here at the Badlands, Yes Way Badlands Travel Plaza in Kenoka, South Dakota. Today is, uh, well, it's officially now Thursday the 28th, um, Central Time. Actually, I'm still on Mountain Time, so it's Wednesday the 27th. My wife's birthday, which we're going to celebrate uh, earlier in the week. I'll talk about that. Uh, we'll, we'll dive into the juicy stuff first. <clears throat> when I was on my way back, the last time we spoke... I was still in Wisconsin, got rusty groomed and all that, but on my way home, uh, I had to deliver in Cheyenne Monday morning at 7 a.m. So uh, just as I'm coming into Cheyenne Sunday night, uh, all of a sudden the roads got really slick, kind of crazy, and check this out. Uh, big truck with a trailer, it gets uh, cut in half, essentially, and split open and shuts down I-80 going uh, eastbound. All right, look carefully. Uh, it's hard to see with all the lights flashing over there, but that dark patch, that's a trailer, and look, it's, it's split right there. There's the cab, too. <laughs> and now the clutch trucker zoom and slow-mo. All right, again, look carefully here. Uh, that headlights over there belong to a truck I think might have hit that, but look at that dark patch right there. Yeah, that looks like that trailer split in half right there. The other half still attached to the cab. This is on top of a bridge. Crazy. And before I came up on that, actually, uh, I really slowed down because I saw this camper flipped over and the truck stuck up on it, still attached. The truck managed to stay upright. The camper flipped. All right, at this point, I'm still going about 55 miles an hour, but look over there to the left in the median, a truck and a camper. Zoom and slow-mo time. And look, the truck is upright somehow, and yet the camper is flipped upside down. That's nuts. And this one also was right before I came across that split open trailer. Uh, as I was going westbound, a truck stuck off to the side. There's a tow truck there trying to help him out. Yeah, at this point I'm going pretty slow. You can see how shiny the roadway is. <clears throat> We're getting blinded by those lights from the tow truck. Behind it, there's a uh, big truck that uh, made it just enough off to the shoulder there where they got themselves stuck and they're trying to get him out. I just want to look carefully at this. Just want to show you how icy the road is at this point. You can see I'm going like 30 miles an hour. Now look at the roadway. When it's that shiny, it's icy. What do you think? All right, look, I'm going about 28 miles an hour right there. And look how shiny the roadway is. That means that's pure ice, baby. Not good. So I got delivered there uh, Monday morning and uh, I already had um, other loads booked. Uh, no lignite this week. So I had to fill it in with some other stuff that I had to book. So I had to go uh, pick up a load in Sterling, Colorado of uh, feed going to uh, Murdoch's Ranch and Farm Supply up there in Miles City, Montana. And I was picking that up on Tuesday. It wasn't supposed to pick up till 5 p.m. I got there at 1, hoping they'd load me early. Nah. <laughs> yeah, I didn't get out of there till after 8 p.m. So I had to drive all through the night, delivered in Miles City this morning, had to wait out at 10 there, and then go pick up the kitty litter in Colony, Wyoming, which I have now. I'm on my way to Menominee, do 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 Wisconsin. Yeah, that delivers Friday morning at 5, and then I pick up uh, cereal again on Saturday in Northfield, Minnesota, running me back to Cheyenne. I was trying to book other loads today, but nothing came through because uh, people just didn't want to pay. Everything's still out of Denver, Cheyenne area. It's still just paying 80, 90 cents a mile. It's not even worth running the truck. So I was going back and forth with Coyote. They wouldn't come up on it, uh, you know, but it's not till next week. I can probably get them up, and uh, then there is going to be more lignite later on, so... Hopefully we can do that again. So that's what's going on load-wise. Just a little quick update here. Wanted to throw something up there. Oh, and I, I sent Ike at uh, Bonehead Truckers uh, that video I put in a couple of weeks ago where I was trying to turn into the Petro in uh, York, Nebraska, and this big truck coming the other way. Just ran the, ran the green light across everybody. Thought, oh, I can go. And so I just wanted to thank Ike for throwing that on there. So that's on this week's Bonehead Truckers that he just put out on Wednesday the 27th. Yeah, I got to celebrate my wife's birthday Monday night. We got to go out to dinner at the Outback. It was a beautiful thing, and uh, her birthday was actually today, Wednesday the 27th. So happy birthday to my wife. Happy birthday! 
Now, a red letter date in history coming up on uh, April 6th uh, would be my birthday. Uh, it's going to be a Saturday this week, but, you know, I'll probably be working. Always working. Well, thanks for tuning in for that one. Just a little quick update. Um, yeah, I had some road mishaps to show you, and then I had to let you know what's going on, and then we get a chance to show off the uh, freshly groomed Rusty one more time. What do you think? Huh? Thanks for tuning in. Please subscribe. Please like and comment. Uh, make sure, yeah, please do make, make sure you do that because it helps out in the whole YouTube thing. Uh, ring that bell for notifications so you know when the new videos come out. Uh, there's Clutch Trucker on Instagram, Clutch Trucker on Twitter, X, uh, Clutch Trucker 5 on TikTok. Usually put rusty little shorts up on those things. And as always, sniff that magic YouTube fairy dust. Clutch and Rusty, out. Well, you see, my ancestors were the Kleptus, uh, hence Kleptomaniacs. Uh, their revenge was to steal everything in sight. Oh yeah? Well, my ancestors were the Toro Kofundians, and they had the ability to smell bullshit a mile away. Is there something you want, Rusty? <laughs> Is there something you want? What could it be? Where'd you go? There you are. Is it begging strip time? Is that it? Begging strip time? Oh, I think so. All right, Mr. Silly Dog, there you go. All right, all over it. He's all over it, baby. And why? Sing it with me, because he's a bag and strip dog. He's a bag and strip dog. Sometimes it eats too fast and it starts to cough. He's a bag and strip dog. Oh yeah, chewing him down quick tonight. All right. Oh, I see. I see a piece. Better get it. There you go. All right. Happy dog look. Rusty.